Welcome back everyone. How are you going? We're almost halfway through the little way of Lent. Now remember, I was going to ask you a very big question. It's about the nature of your call. The special call that God asks of you. Of course, as children, you won't know your call yet. But if you practice praying over the course of the years, one day your special call will be revealed and you'll be like Mary, the mother of God, who was able to say yes to the call of becoming the mother of our Saviour Jesus. So, what about compiling a little yes list? A yes list of all those qualities and attributes that are making you that special person for Christ. Today's Gospel reading is from Matthew chapter 18. And this is a very relevant one for all human beings, because the thing is, we all sin at some time or another. In this gospel reading, the disciple Peter asks Jesus how often he should forgive a sinner. He wonders, is seven times enough? And Jesus answers, no, that is not enough at all. It is seven times 70. I don't think I can even work that out. It's a huge number. Can you work out seven times 70? What it means is that we should be able to forgive hugely and always, that we should never stop forgiving. The main idea from this gospel reading is to forgive your brother from your heart. You do not hold grudges. You do not count how many times you forgive him, whether it's seven, or 70, or seven times 70, or 77, or a thousand, or a number you can't even name, you must always forgive. Perhaps the understanding we need about forgiveness is infinity, a huge numberless times of forgiveness, because that's the sort of mercy that Jesus shows. When you forgive someone, you are moved with pity, you show mercy, and you feel better about it. When you forgive someone, you are showing God's love to that other person. That other person in turn will forgive someone else. That sense of mercy and forgiveness and compassion creates a ripple effect so that we all treat each other with forgiveness. Often we talk about the saying, let's forgive and forget. Well, it's very important that we forgive as God forgives because we will be blessed by that good action towards others. My challenge to you is to think about the sins that you may have recently committed. They may only be little ones. I hope they're only little ones, but they still need to be told to God and be repented of. So your challenge is to go to confession. Prepare well, pray, ask for forgiveness, and the priest will absolve you of your sins. You will be reconciling yourself with God, putting yourself into right relationship again. Go to confession and you'll feel so much better for it. You'll get your sins off your chest and you'll be right with God again. Okay then, I'll see you next time. <laughs>